Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaw here. Once again, it's time for another Dad Bod to Daddy Transformation vlog. And today was leg day. Uh, today I just kind of came in and played around a little bit. Played with a little bit of semi-heavy weight. Uh, did some box squats. Uh, I think I did like four singles with these. Um, then messed with some, some paused high bar box squats. And I realized, you know what, I want to mess with some pause squats. In fact, uh, when I did some pause squats today, it really lit my quads up. And I'm almost feeling like... The phases where I, I focused a lot on, on just the high bar pause squats uh, were actually really easy on my recovery. They seemed to help my quads, and I noticed they lit my quads up. And then particularly when I did the high rep uh, sissy squats at the end. So uh, again, I might do that for just a little bit. Um, as long as I'm getting into doing some type of squatting while I'm cutting, making sure I'm training uh, quads, making sure I'm training my calves, all that stuff I'll be fine uh, because again I'm cutting very very hard mainly I just want to get some tension on my quads and I just want to maintain some squat pattern movements once um, the hardest part of this cut is over I'll be able to come in and program a little better focus on the squats a little bit more but as of right now because I do this at the end of the week um, because I'm losing weight relatively quickly on this cut I've Having a really hard progression on, on squats and rebuilding a squat is, is actually going to be largely impossible. So again, for just now, I'm not going to worry about it a lot. I can rotate around with stuff like I'm doing. Again, the main thing is just making sure I'm getting some heavy squat pattern movement in, making sure my quads are getting stimulated uh, to give them, again, some, some growth stimulus while I'm in this deficit. Uh, plus making sure I'm getting in some quality work for the calves because calves themselves, that calf muscle will go a long way in helping uh, facilitate more, more fat loss and calorie burn while I'm walking. Uh, but kind of messing with how the day felt, the high bar paw squats felt really, really good. Uh, so I almost feel like I wonder if I want to just dedicate a session to mostly doing those next week and then just pumping out my quads afterwards with, with the sissy squats. Because again, I noticed when I did those, kind of getting that outer edge of that quad sweep, something that's neglected on me right now, it is undersized. Uh, I felt a lot of stimulus there. It's like, eh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to work on that a little bit. And again, uh, not like I'm worried about regressing at this point. My squat is just not that strong right now. And, and a lot of it is because I didn't push it hard and then I've been cutting. Um, but I do feel like old muscle memory, it'll bounce back as soon as I'm able to eat a little bit more. Uh, again, nothing really complicated in this vlog. I think what I'm going to do is just uh, wind down the talking and just let you guys watch it. For those who want to see the training, want to see what I did in it, you can watch it. Um, you can see uh, all in the description below what the lifts were. So I'm just going to kind of chill and just let you guys enjoy. So I hope it's been informative and I'll talk to you guys and gals next time.